Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to City Skylines, where we're building a city where the main goal is to profit. And profit we have at the expense of our citizens. And so far, our big plan was to take all the resources in the world, which has made us a good amount of money. But you don't want to sell raw resources, no, you want to add some value and some factories. So, we are going to be turning this entire area into a new city where everyone will be forced, or I mean encouraged, to work in the factories. So yes, we're going to be making quite the investment today, and hopefully it all pays off. But always the biggest question, how do we get started here? Well, looking at the space, we have some nice quiet farmland, we have a cargo train terminal, factory, highway, oil, and it seems like a garbage plant in the forestry stuff. With that all in mind, this area over here could be a mix of residential and maybe some factory stuff. And then up north by the oil, that'll be all factories. And then we'll transition into the main population area down this way. And if the core of our city is really down here, then we want to bring a main road through and start thinking about our public transit first. And all I really want to do is go chew. So we'll build a train station right here, and the train will bring people from the town up over this way and to around here. Where we'll have another train station that will bring people to these important job sites. Like this one factory alone needs 1300 workers. Like geez louise. Definitely need a train load of slaves or workers. Yes, workers. And yeah, I'd rather have those 1300 people Take your chew. But you know what else we could do? We could go out and get our other mega factories, like this giant oil refinery, and bring it over as well. In fact, let's just get all of our giant factories over there. Why not? All of them need so many employees. Since we're gonna have a train station right nearby, seems like a good place to centralize everything. Oh, and there's a cargo train there to bring the resources to them all too. This is, yeah, this is perfect. So that's a good step one. But of course, people are going to be driving over at some points. So we'll give them a few extra options here. And we'll have a bridge that goes over the main highway to here or something. I'll fix that road to make that work, no worries. And same deal on this side. So okay, that kind of makes this a main road. Maybe we could just bring this down this way somehow? I don't know, I'll figure it out. And then looking at our highway infrastructure, we have some good stuff going here where the highway leads to this roundabout and the roundabout has a one-way road that goes to the train station, to a big road, and then into this industrial space. So that's pretty solid. And then it's the same deal on the other side where it's a highway that goes to a big roundabout. But it's always fun to clear off traffic and not overload that roundabout. So we can have some extra one-way streets going up and down. So if there's vehicles from the highway that want to go to the factories, they take an early left, they want to go to the city, early right, and if they want to do something weird, well, then they go to the roundabout and go wherever they want. Easy plan. Just when we're doing this, we do not want to have stoplights because they ruin traffic, and we do not want to have left turns because then they cut people off and it's very rude. So that's pretty good. It's a little lane inefficient, but I can change things up, and that should be a good start to it all. After a little bit of reorganization, Got the train line hooked up down into the city. And then I started doing some of the road work over here because this area, it doesn't really matter to be honest. Just gonna be a few houses and stuff like that. The main thing is I wanted to bring a main road from this mining trench area straight through here, over the highway, and then to here. Because it lets me build a small road that connects to the rest of the population and connect up with the larger road that goes over to the factory area. The main thing is it just makes this whole area into one big block almost. Where vehicles can go to the highway, to factories, to jobs, to wherever. And they have plenty of options to do so. And it's what I want to start doing over here as well. Since we already have one main road, we can just continue that down. Because why not? And I can go to about there. Because I've built a boundary road beside the highway. And we can end the main road just in a big T-junction. And of course... More roundabouts, as they are always so handy. And then just overviewing things. Since this road goes through so much, it could be a main road too. 
Oh, and it's not giving me any trouble. Okay, yeah, that could do. We'll leave this as a T-junction though, because that'll be fine, probably. The main thing we got going for us is that we actually know what the heck we're doing at this point. Like we have mean roads, we're connecting them up to places, and it's looking good. Then we can have this road connect to the other main road. We go a little further over this way. And heck, I don't know, maybe we could switch this all up. Throw in a cheeky highway entrance right there. Cause who knows, if people don't wanna take the true to work, they can take this main road, hit the highway, and oh, yeah, add in a little off ramp here so people can get to the factories as well. Or quickly up into the hills to mine. And big picture, it will relieve some of our city's main arteries from heavy traffic. Then the rest of the space, well, we just fill it in. Personally, I really like making T-junctions and T-junctions explicitly. So for example, we wouldn't just have a road that crosses like this. We'd only have a road that goes like that. We'd only allow for like T-junctions. Cause I don't know this, but I feel like it cuts down on traffic a lot. At least that's what I do for like the main roads. If they're four lanes, if it's just a two lane road, who cares? Plus, this is probably gonna be mostly low density housing. So just making a few inner blocks should be fine. And if the traffic decides to get a little wacky, eh, we can make adjustments then. And to be honest, I think that's the best way about anything. Just do it, watch it break, and then fix it. Like, the traffic in this game is so wacky that 99% of the time, you're gonna run into something you could never have expected. So I find it's better to roll with the punches. And all right, I think we got something going here, bud. Now for part two. And where did we leave those main roads off? Oh uh, yes, we have the roundabout down here, goes the highway. Okay, so we got a main road going this way. Sure, continue your quest out to the great beyond and have a roundabout for your troubles. And further up, we have our train station. And this area is probably gonna be a bit more dense than most of the other space we've zoned. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a giant kind of roundabout or system of one ways that goes in a square, which is the opposite of round. But you, you, you're picking up what I'm putting down. The idea is we're gonna make a dense area, then we're gonna zone it out the wazoo and we're gonna force all these people living here towards the train station. Then they're gonna catch their train and work 12 hours in my multitude of factories. Simple solution. Beside it though, we will definitely need a new main road. Kinda cutting through on this side of town. Which it looks like hits this main road by the old dumpster fire over there. So have a roundabout, have a roundabout there. Ooh, well, well, well. More main roads for you, sir. Good, that looks really good actually. I think those are our main arteries. And you know what? We should probably make this one a little bit more main. So let's give it some lanes. Oh yeah, that's a really good idea. It's cutting like right through the other area too. Let me scoot over to the next main road. Okay, looks good. Probably will change this up a little bit though. Back to over here. We now have a bunch of squares where I'll just do the same blocking stuff that I did over this way. Trying to make all of those T intersections all over the place. And then we gotta figure out how to connect it with the rest of the city. So we have the roads over here. We have the roads and highways here. It looks like all of the highways go to this intersection go haywire into the forestry zone. And then it looks like this is an actual highway road. Goes to a main road and then just to literally nowhere. Okay, classic. Past kids just leaving future kids something to do. Well, okay, let's do it. Let's have this go forward into a tree farm that now doesn't exist, goodbye. Hopefully this nicely connects up to what we're doing. Oh dang, like almost. Oh, we're so close. Well, we gotta do it. Whole main road will just move down to the south, because then we can connect that up. And this goes through, and everything will look way, 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 way more cool. Yeah, that wasn't hard at all. After a quick boop, things are looking good. Whole plan worked out. Main road comes on through. I built a bridge over this train track that goes over to here, because I knew a bunch of you would be like, Kims, why would you do this, you crazy mans? So yeah, there we go, we got a bridge. Also got a bridge going over from the train station, just over this way. It's not a one-way street, it's a two-way street, so people can get from this side of town to this side of town without hitting the main roads. Also added in a couple more roads every so often, just to give people options, you know? 
because I'm really good at making like a good solution, but then, <laughs> like this town, I only allow for one good solution, which then gets overloaded and then the whole system collapses. So more options, always better. And speaking of, we need to give these people another highway option. This knot we created is good. It does its job, it gets people all over the place. Then the other highway connection over here is all right. It's doing things, cars grooving, but it would be nice to connect up a highway to this main road through here. And it just so happens on the other side of, what do you call this, the straight? We have a highway that's ready to go. So we would kind of land here, which is not perfect, but hey, there's an option, right? Right. But here's the tricky thing. We want an option, but we don't want a good option. Now, Kibbs, what are you talking about? Are you just being like sadistic towards your citizens again? And a little bit, but also not entirely. Not entirely, yes, that's a good word. Uh, no, we don't want people to be using this bridge over our more established and efficient intersections. Like I was saying with the new zone, you want to give people a couple options. Not all of them are the best, like, hey, should he really take this silly bridge over to here? Or the awesome six lane interchange? Like obviously one option is more efficient than the other. Oh, again, we don't want to overload the one good option. Thus, we're doing this. <laughs> Did a car crash right beside my new project? Oh, that, that's a great omen. Yeah, thanks game. Really giving me uh, the confidence boost I needed for this ambitious project. Oh boy, because we're gonna be doing things a little differently too. Aside from making things intentionally inefficient, we're gonna be building underground. And honestly, I don't like to build underground. I like to see my creations. But for whatever reason in this game, building a tunnel is dramatically cheaper than building a bridge. This length of tunnel costs about 40 grand. Double it up, 80 grand. Whereas this bridge we built costs, I think, half a million dollars, if not more. So yeah, for kind of like an extra option, this is more cost efficient and won't stand out too much. But I do want to connect both these highway entrances and exits to a roundabout on a bridge. And can we even, oh my God, we can. This will take an unholy amount of tinkering to make work. So this will have to go to like there. Oh gosh, and then it's moving this? Why is there green on top of this? What's underneath it? Okay, there's a couple pillars, but yeah. It's the option we need, but oh, it's oh, it's so weird. Okay, yeah, this is gonna need at least one boop's worth of time. Oh, thank you, editing magic. But yeah, this is gonna take me many hours off camera to make look not entirely cursed. Like there's a good idea here, just it's not perfect. Anyway, road work wise, we now have an option for people to go from kind of the center of this city into this roundabout, then enter the highway here to go wherever, or they can scoot into this lane and go all the way across the river or straight, what have you, to this intersection, and then into this town. Or they can go off to the right over to, I don't know, stuff that will be here. And some of you might be wondering why this isn't even efficient. Well, it's because there are some options not available to citizens. Like if someone's on this highway and they want to take a left onto this road, they can't. I don't allow them to. That's illegal. Vice versa, if they're coming up this road, they can hit the roundabout, sure. And then they could go that way. But it's not super efficient. And you know what? Actually, no, that doesn't make any sense. There probably should be like another exit over there. It depends. We'll probably change this up a bit more once we get this area figured out. I just wanted something here to tie this area up. So there was an option available. And if I don't like it in the future, well, I can destroy the whole thing and we'll have the space there too. So, hey. Now then, back to over here. Plenty to do. We have to zone. And more importantly, we have to put in services. We need so, so, so many schools. The stats say we're good on elementary schools, but <laughs> as many of you know, the stats in this game are um, not super accurate to say the least. And most players of this game are just feeling things out, trying to figure out what actually works. And personally, this is just my theory, I think it's a really, really, really good idea 
to build way more elementary schools than the game suggests you need. Like this area definitely doesn't need seven of them for sure. But we have to get our citizens like educated and well-educated to fail out jobs. And building more schools kind of guarantees that. At least that's what I think. And then if we go over to our established city over this way, we can see that all of these schools have pretty much filled up. But that's just for poorly educated people. Now when we get to high schools, eh, it doesn't matter as much. I don't think do. Like a high school here, high school there, and we're probably fine. Because for the bulk of our workforce, we need them to be uneducated up to educated. We don't need as many well-educated or highly educated people. So we can chill on that a bit. But also, kind of the meme of the area is that everyone around here is supposed to work in industries or factories or in the mines. So I want them to play sports. Everybody here has to play the sports ball. Football field, you better believe it. Soccer field, sure. We'll give them even a skate park. Heck, a gym, do it. Tennis, nah. Basketball, sure. Now I got like a little sports area going on here. Now I'll keep the citizens healthy and strong or they'll get some experience breaking some bones every so often. So when they're sent to the oil fields, they won't cry as much. I guess if we're planning for people to get hurt, sure, I guess we could then build them a hospital. Yeah. Yeah, we'll build them a big one too. So don't say I never did anything for them. Besides that though, we got in some crematorium, some extra parks and parking lots, and yeah, the extra services people would want. So we should be good to zone. And let's zone the big stuff first. The train station. We are talking earlier, we wanted to make this area dense. And guess what? It will be. But to get as many buildings as possible, we're going to only zone like half of these at a time. So that way smaller buildings fill in. And that will get us more money. Same deal with low density housing. We want small houses, or at least smaller houses. We'll fill in the rest of this a little bit later. Up to the north, we will have industry. And then I left a little bit of space because we are going to build a nice old landfill up here. Anyway, aside from that, the rest of this, Industry, brother. There we go. Take our own natural resources and turn them into higher, more valuable products. Yeah, that's the play. Like we'll always have more than we need. As in a dream world, we only sell finished goods. Like why sell all of our rocks and stones at a discount when we could make them into premium products? Right? Right. Aside from that though, it's just a balancing act of transitioning over to where the population is gonna be living. So just have some commercial and some office space in between. And then we get into just like low density as far as the eye can see. I got a little lazy with the zoning though, so we're gonna have to fix the houses so they're smaller later. But right now, I wanna make some money. So move on in, demand, get out of here. You have all the space in the world. Take it, it's yours. Just move on in, enjoy this beautiful creation. Ooh, this will get them. How about this? A train line that's actually connected to your favorite factory? Oh yeah, I think so. Oh my gosh, yes, look at that sea of gray and beige. Oh my, like literal sea of it. This is beautiful. It's gonna cause such a death wave in my city once all these people grow up and then die at the same time. But that's for future kids to worry about. Maybe we can even profit off of it. For now, I want money immediately. Demand's down, house is still coming in. <laughs> There's so many people. The game's like breaking. All the shadows can't work. It's just like, bro, what have you done? What does that box even mean? Medical clinic, no supplies, it'll come soon, don't worry. Can we get some houses in here so my game can survive? So many people. So much fun to have and enjoy. My computer sounds like it's about to explode, but that's fine. This area is starting to fill out too. Good, very good. Oh yeah, farms are gonna have all the workers they'll ever need. And all right, with all these people now in, how are the factories looking? How is my employment? Still have half the positions empty, great. Oil refinery isn't rented out, annoying. And the fuel plant is only half employed too. The what is going on? We have so many people. What? What? what, what? 
We have twice as many open positions? But I just built a whole new city. How could, what, what, that's impossible. Oh, no, 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 no. This is kind of on me. See, look at this. Look at all these big houses taking up so much space. Yeah, no. I shouldn't have been lazy. We let half of it fill in, then we fill in the other half, and that practically doubles the utilization of this area while keeping it low density, which is great. Oh, it could also help to fill in our busy part of the town. Heck, maybe just with some medium density housing. Sure, have at her butt. And the biggest thing of all is waiting for something to break. What's it gonna be? Where's the traffic gonna bottleneck? Well, apparently a problem there, now it's gone. Might have a little bit of a traffic problem with this one. I don't know, you think people are gonna drive into that? I think it's pretty easy to see that there's kind of a crane in the middle of the road, yes? Apparently not for some. Oh, it looks like we have some traffic already. What is wrong with you guys? Trying to get into the city? Oh, and is this a road work truck? Yeah, road maintenance vehicle. These things kind of like just stop and go constantly and it causes all the traffic to back up on its own. Nothing you can do there, no biggie. Or at least not in my control, so I don't worry about it. Everything else is looking good. Where's the traffic heat map? Well, there we are. And it's looking kind of just snug, to be honest. A little toasty over here. Well, that's just because the roads are being utilized a lot. It's not because the traffic's actually stopping, which is what you actually do want to see. Ah, oh, but you don't want to see this. Bunch of industry places that don't have high-skilled labor? What do you mean? There's so many people going to the elementary schools. We have over twice the amount of capacity in the schools than we do illegible people. Let's get the parents to stuff them in there. Is there like a city policy we can do to actually make people get educated? Taxi fare, we can make that 40. Pre-release program, educates criminals, and other stuff doesn't matter. I suppose there is one thing we could do, we go to taxation and we'll lower the taxes for the more educated people to kind of maybe yoink them from other cities. So hey, maybe in the long term that might help. And you know what, actually, hold up, hold up. We could also build a college here. Again, we don't technically need it according to the video game, but more education, probably good. And after a couple minutes here, our population was at 75,000. We had about $76,000. And now we have over a hundred million dollars. Another 10,000 citizens. Sounds good to me. College actually has quite a bit of students. So that was kind of worth it. And the area has developed well. And it actually does look like a small town. Added in some paths and some trees. Kind of fiddled with the density here a little bit. So it kind of looks like a Bit of a density sprawl. And, oh, yeah, big new addition. This, we unlocked the switch on factory, which is a giant electronics factory, which has a bunch of cool boosts and requires more employees. But with another 10,000 people, things are looking a little bit better in other places. So that's cool. How many empty workplaces do we have though? 7,000, why? Look at all these green areas. Do you see the light green is where there's a ton of jobs available. And there's so many jobs. Like who doesn't want to go work in this farm? Like what a snug life. Wait a second, what's that though? Is that a bug? Ew, nature, ugh, more nature. Well, don't worry, the combine will be coming soon. Actually, you know what? Looking at the statistics here, total workplaces are 68,000 and we have 88,000 population. So there's 20,000 kids that can't work yet. So maybe if we just kind of chill out for a long time, those kids will grow up and then get to work. Ah, but then people will just die out. What's the average age of people? They're adults. Ah, but 20% children that need to go to work. Oh, and the birth rate is double the death rate. So we are going big up real quick. And with unemployment at practically zero, time will solve this problem. Most importantly, we filled in this whole area so now the citizens can grow up, go to the mines, and make me my money. And yeah, I think we've done a really good job with the road work here. However, that is gonna be all for now, but if you enjoyed, remember to subscribe for more. And until then, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye